Hey everybody, how you doing? What's going on? What time is it now? It's after 2 a.m. in the morning here on the broadcast and I'm coming at you with another beer review. Uh, it's by a uh, local brewery to me here in Nova Scotia, Canada and Shelburne to be precise. This is Boxing Rock. This is the Boxing Rock Brewing Company. It's a new brewery. It's a new craft brewery that just opened not long ago. It's called the Temptation Red Ale. Yeah, our, our beer is legendary, they claim. So, full-bodied, rich in Temptation Ale, sultry jazz singer. Yeah, that's interesting. It does have a date on the box. It says, uh, bottled fresh on January 21st, 2014. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's give this a go. I'm not going to read everything that's on the box because they got a storyline there. It's probably not even a twist off, is it? Whoa. It's 6% alcohol by volume. Ingredients are water, malt, hops, and yeast. Well, isn't that typical? What else were we thinking was in it? Huh? Gummy worms? Anyways. Oh, it is a twist off. Okay. Jeez. I thought I was going to have to grab my capper. All right, let's pour up this red ale. There's the plain label on the bottle. Not much to it. <laughs> see what this this one looks like. See what see what we got here. It's supposed to be red. It's supposed to be red. Is it red or is it red? Is it red? Is it copper? Is it gold? Is it neon? A neon beer. We need to brew a neon beer. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Doesn't exactly have a lot of red into it when I hold it up to the light. It's a little hint of red, but mostly copper. Mostly copper. I've seen redder ales than this, but what the heck, hey? A slightly, uh, the, the head is dissipating very quickly pretty much white let's give it a sniff hmm nice aroma and fresh the first thing that hits me is fresh got that fresh that fresh aroma like <laughs> something on the nose there <laughs> nice malty and hoppy looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Should we just sit here and look at it all night or should we taste it? <laughs> all right, here it goes. Mm. It's a rather hopped up red ale. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They don't give it. They don't give any. Uh, they don't give any geek information on here, like the IBUs or exactly what hops were used. But it's good. So far, I'm liking this. It's got, it's got a fair bit of carbonation, um, a little bit more than the last beer I reviewed, um, and it's lacing nice, if that, if that concerns you, but uh, it's uh, rather hoppy, yeah, it is rather hoppy, yes it is, it's, uh, it's a fairly hoppy red, uh, red ale. And it's pretty clean. It's refreshing. It's, seems to me like it's a light bodied beer. Doesn't doesn't seem heavy at all. Yeah, it's pretty much everything a red ale should be, I guess. I have I don't I haven't had a whole shat load of red ales.
Well, I mean, it's well-rounded and well-complex. And uh, malty. It's actually got a pretty good malt to it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's not bad. That's a really nice beer. And I only have five left after this one. Only five more. Shoot. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to go about a stable four out of five on that one because that's, that's a nice beer. That's, that's, ni that's nicely done. You can, you can tell it's, you know, it's crafted. You can tell it's crafted. You can just tell. You can just tell when you've had as many beers, craft beers as I've had. All right, guys. Cheers in 17. Keep your mugs full, and I'll see you next time.